Amanda from DevotionInAction.com. I'm here in Exodus 33. I've got these free printables available in the free resource library at DevotionInAction.com. And I'm going to use this larger format one for the Dayspring Illustri Illustrating Bible. It can be used for an interleave Bible. I'm just going to tilt it a little bit because uh, I wanted it to go on this left hand side of the page and I just like this angle a little bit better and just grab a pencil and trace that and while I do I want to kind of set the scene for this Bible verse. The Israelites have uh, been led out of Egypt by Moses. They are in the wilderness and Moses is meeting with God on top of the mountain and they're kind of at that beginning of that journey that is going to be 40 years walking through the desert. It has to be exhausting. Um, just constant, um, just trying to survive basically in the wilderness. And in Exodus 33, uh, verse 7, it says, Now Moses took a tent and he pitched it outside the camp. At, at a distance from the camp, he called it the tent of meeting. Anyone who wanted to consult the Lord would go to the tent of meeting that was outside the camp. And whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would stand up, each one at the door of his tent, and they would watch Moses until he entered the tent. When Moses entered the tent, the pillar of cloud would come down and remain at the entrance of the tent, and the Lord would speak to Moses. Um, and here I'm pulling out just a travel watercolor set and starting to watercolor in this image. And like we always do here, we're going to start with like lighter tones and build darker ones. And I kind of thought of the sun shining down on this umbrella. So the darkest tones are going to be toward the bottom of the umbrella and the lighter tones are going to stay at the top of the umbrella. This page is prepped with um, a matte gel medium, which is basically a clear acrylic paint that uh, kind of preps the page. You don't really have to prep the page with watercolor, but um, these pages are very fibrous and they soak up water quickly and I wanted the water to sit on the page and allow me to work with it a little bit easier and so I have prepped this page. And I want to use primarily red, white, blue, and yellow as my color uh, colors for this page. So I'm going to repeat those colors throughout the page. Um, that's why I've gone ahead and put that those blue sections on the beach ball and now I'm going to add the yellow from the top of the umbrella into the beach ball. And we're just going to see repeating those colors throughout uh, this process. It kind of thinking about where I want the light to hit the beach ball and where the, sh the darker points would be, where the shadows would be. The lighter points are going to be where the, where the sun would be hitting it and the darker points would be where it's facing away from the sunshine. That's a little bit harder to do on the beach ball than it is on the umbrella, but um, it, it's nice to give it some thought because it adds some depth and dimension to uh, your watercoloring as you are coloring this in. So here Moses is meeting with the Lord. And in the Bible, in, in verse 11 of chapter 33, it says, The Lord would speak with Moses face to face, just as a man speaks with his friend. How amazing. What a unique rapport that, that Moses had with the Creator God. Think about that. I mean, wouldn't it be cool to go down in history as the man who's friends with the living God? Isn't that cool? I, 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 I'm aspiring to that in my life, and I hope that you are too. So here at the beginning of this Israelite's journey in the desert, God promises Moses that he will go with Moses and the Israelites, and he makes this extra guarantee. So Moses says to him, Lord, you told me, lead these people up. This is in verses 12 through 14. Lead these people up, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You said, I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. Now, if I have indeed found favor with you, God, please teach me your ways, and I will know you so that I may find favor with you. Now consider that this nation is your people. And God replies to Moses and says, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Now, I don't know about anybody else this summer, but one of the things I'm looking to, looking forward to most on vacation when I head to the beach is getting some rest, leaving my to-do list behind me, which is difficult for me to do because I always have a million things on a to-do list, and really just kind of getting away and being able to relax and rest, get refreshing. But God did not design us 
to just get rest once a year on a vacation. He designed us to have his presence go with us and to rely on him for rest. God's presence promises rest for his people. God's presence equals rest. And the definition of rest is the ceasing of work or movement in order to relax, to refresh oneself, or to recover strength. God's rest brings relaxation, refreshing, recovery, all of these wonderful things. Uh, that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> I hope it does to you too. So during my beach tri trip this summer, I'm planning on kicking back, kicking those flip flops off, relaxing under the beach umbrella or in a hammock, reading a book and just relaxing a little bit. But you can't do that in everyday daily life. So how do we find God's presence and rest in our daily lives so that we can take advantage of the benefits of resting in his presence? I'm not good at this at all. I'm gonna just put that out there. I am terrible about resting. I tend to go, 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 until I'm exhausted. And I put lots of things on my to-do list and I try to get them all done in a day, get frustrated when they don't happen. And so I'm trying to get a little bit better than this. And I have this friend um, who's like a sister to me. And she was talking this year about God's discipline of rest to me and a couple of tips that she has um, that she's discovered as she tries to get better at this too because we're kind of birds of the same feather we, we we both like to get things done and accomplish things and and we tend to have very busy schedules so here are some tips that she taught me i'm just adding in some sand and some sky um a few shadows just nice and light and airy to this artwork because i really i these beach scenes i really want to feel that just kind of pastel, relaxed feeling quality to them. And I'm gonna shadow underneath the right hand side of that ball. So just kind of uh, where it would be sitting on the sand, casting a shadow, adding a little bit of shadow there. And here are the tips for entering into God's rest. Number one, when you're feeling stressed, just take a few minutes to connect with God. It doesn't have to be large chunks of time. Just like five minutes in God's presence can bring rest to your soul. Just take take those, those few minutes and connect with him and say, God, I, I need your rest right now. I just want to honor you. I want to worship you. I want to come into your presence and feel your rest. Number two, change your physical position. So staying inside under fluorescent lights all the time, um, it, it, sometimes that can be stressful too <laughs> if you're in a workplace or inside your house. If, you're, if you stay at home and all of your work happens at home, then it can feel like there's always something to do when you're at home. So maybe walk outside and uh, look at the clouds or the stars or the plants and thank God for his creation. It can help you connect with him and find rest in him. Just a few minutes. Number three, memorize a scripture about God's rest, such as Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Number four, take a deep breath several times and praise God for the breath in your lungs. Job 33, 4 says, the spirit of God has made me and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. It refreshes me. It restores me. Now I'm just going to take my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen and outline all of those pencil marks because I like that look of kind of a line drawing that's been colored in. And so just adding in those lines with a pen. Now I, I hit it with a heat gun you saw and that gets it really dry so I'm not gonna ruin my pen. So make sure that that paint is really dry before you line out over on top of it. And number five would be like to turn on some worship music and get to singing, sing along with it. And that, that always raises my spirits too. It helps me relax a little bit. It restores and refreshes me. I'm a worshiper at heart. And so I, uh, when I turn on some worship music, that really helps, helps me to rest and, and she's the same way. So I hope that these tips can help you enter daily into God's rest for your life. In America, we have such busy lives. We tend to overschedule ourselves and expect too much of ourselves. And so um, entering into God's rest is important. So here on the page, we're going to add just a little bit of word art. And this is a very simple process. I want to write the word rest. And I'm just using that same lining pen to do the initial work on this. 
I'm gonna write rest in cursive. And I'm gonna look at the shape of the space there above the umbrella and kind of make my word curve that direction. Going along the curve of the umbrella, just write it in cursive, kind of loopy cursive. However yours looks is perfectly fine. And then I'm taking a little bit thicker black pen and anywhere where there's a downstroke, you've heard this before if you've watched any of my videos, you're gonna darken and thicken that downstroke line and it really transforms your cursive writing into something that looks more like calligraphy. So just darkening and thickening that downward line just like that. And then anywhere where uh, it doesn't blend into the smaller line, I'm just gonna fix that with a smaller pen and make it kind of blend or go gradually into that smaller line. And um, just adding the date of the series at Devo in Action, which is my tag for Instagram and um, Facebook. So I would love for you to come join the Facebook group or the um, follow me on Instagram. This is the Beach and Bible uh, summer series. And so you could put hashtag Beach and Bible and show me your post with this free printable. I'd love to see it or hear your thoughts about Exodus 33, 14. So here's our completed page entry for Exodus 30, 33, 14. Let's make a point to enter into God's rest in his presence this summer. Have a great day and thanks so much for watching.